we did a lot of Venn diagrams and uh, we did a lot of yeah. what happens if we do this. I can say something and I know Robert's not going to take it as a criticism and vice versa. By speaking from your heart, then there's some honesty. Hi, I'm Beverly and this is Robert and we're a military family. I'm no longer serving. I retired in 2014, but Robert, you've been in how many years now? Since 1992, full time in 1991 with the reserves. And by then we'd had our our journey. Uh, we weren't young when we met. And so we'd had a lot of uh, experiences. We were both in debt. I would say the bank owned us because I lived with the, the certainty that my pension was taken care of. And so the, uh, the realization that what we thought was so certain was not a guarantee anymore. The future wasn't just gonna take care of itself. We were gonna have to start making uh, better decisions that was a key thing to yeah. learn to live within our means. It really changed our ideas about what we were capable of accomplishing. So we had to reframe everything. We want to have an attitude of humility. You know, it's not my money. It's not your money. Um, we went through stages of that this was, you know, these are my expenses. These are my bills. That doesn't work. And those are your bills and those are your problems. And we take care of our own problems. But when we came together, we started um, having shared goals. And those shared goals and shared opportunities led us to have a shared budget. Initially, we thought of our income as our own and we would have a shared contribution. I put in so much, you put in so much. Mm -hmm. But then when that was no longer possible, I took on the, well, these are the core expenses and these are the luxuries. So the luxuries you took care of. And I took care of the core expenses I added the icing. <laughs> so that we would have of equal value to our contribution rather than equal numbers is what helped us to see it differently. It wasn't our money. It was the family's money. So the first gap that we had to cross was when I left the military until my income finally started kicking in, there was almost a year of no income. And I still had a mortgage to pay on my dad's house and I still had renovations to pay. And so that was very uncomfortable. So that's what started this value system of I at the icing. I'd also like to mention a course that we did called Shaping Purpose. So when I was transitioning out of the military, um, this opportunity came up for us to both go together. We went together on that Shaping Purpose course and we reused what we learned on that course every year. We do an audit at the end of the year of what worked for us this year, what didn't work, and what our goals are for the year ahead. And that's helped a lot uh, yes, to, to give us context and framework. That was a, an important program. It's the process that we learned on that, of identifying where our interests are, where our strengths are, and then using those, combining them to create a shared vision. So when we're talking about the overlap between emotional values and financial values, we value sufficeability, ability to save money by doing with less. We don't throw money at problems in order to just to make them go away. And yes, things are slightly uncomfortable because we're controlling a valuable resource. We're controlling our our attention, we're controlling our time, we're controlling our health, we're controlling our nutrition. All of those are interconnected disciplines that we can't just say, this is just one of them. We have to take a whole approach to it to say that, yes, when we're saving money, we're often sacrificing time or we're sacrificing well-being. They say for the price of a cup of coffee, you can save you know, $1,200 a year, which could pay for your retirement. You keep your hands off my daily cup of coffee. I invested the, a little bit into a grinder and a nice uh, coffee maker. Now I can make my own better cup of coffee. It's a metaphor really for how we can learn to love the things we have. You gotta do it anyways. Let's find a way to make it fun. We uh, did book a vacation in uh, Florida. That was through Armed Forces Vacation Club. We connected to that through the CFMWS site. By doing that, we ended up booking for $50 US or less, it was 25 to 50, somewhere in that range per night for right near Disney. So drive down, make our own meals, prepare ahead. Yeah. Fantastic uh, vacation because we put the funds where they would get the most value, which was on 
the activities at Disney. So a lot of our lessons, I will repeat again, are lessons that we learned the hard way. Lessons that we learned because we had to adapt and we had to cope with what was going on. And after the fact, we end up stronger for it. 